Welcome back. Right now we are going to have an important discussion about individuals who have disabilities traveling during this holiday season. It can be very challenging as accessibility is always a problem. Charles Brown is here with us today. Tell us what we need to know all about traveling. He is from the Paralyzed Veterans of America and we're grateful he's here with us today. Charles, tell us more about your military service and the challenges that it has created for you. Well, thank you for having me on here. Um, I was serving in the Marine Corps at Cherry Point, North Carolina, when I sustained a, a diving injury. Um, I was uh, stabilized at a local hospital and then airlifted to the Augusta VA Medical Center, where I met PVA. They came into my life and made a major change. I don't know if you can see this, but since that time period, I've been in a wheelchair for 35 years. And for me, when it comes to air travel, uh, it's often inhumane and dangerous because when I get to the airplanes, I have to be taken from my wheelchair and put onto an aisle chair, which is uh, small, uh, often if they're broken or not operating properly. And then we have to be pulled to the aircraft through those narrow aisleways and then um, bumping on the, on the armrest and then transferred into our seats there also. Our chairs are taken from us, they're put into the belly of the aircraft where they're stored with luggage. And as you know, luggage gets damaged during flights. And also during flights, the, the bathrooms are not wheelchair accessible, so we have to dehydrate ourselves or go without food because we cannot get into the bathrooms. Sorry to be a long-winded about that, but uh, you asked a couple questions in one, and I wanted to make sure I covered it the right way. Charles, why do you think that the airlines are so behind with accessibility, with being able to provide the experience and the comfort and really just the issues that you need to have to be able to travel comfortably? Um, well, the Air Carriers Access, Access Act was passed in 1986. PBA was in the forefront leader there, and we pushed to make sure that accessibility was there well before the ADA. Um, since that time, things really haven't changed much. Even though it was reauthorized a few years ago, they left some key provisions out of there. Like with the ADA, the buses have to be wheelchair accessible, trains have to be wheelchair accessible. You have to be able to stay in your wheelchair to ride. Restrooms need to be accessible on trains. Um, so with airline travel, they really didn't include any of those things for us. So what we're asking for in this Amendments Act is that the, the, you be able to stay in your wheelchair and ride in the wheelchair on the airplane. They can do that. It's, it's easily done. Um, make the aisleways more accessible. Make them a little wider. That'd be better for not just us, but for all passengers. And also make the bathrooms more accessible. I mean, it'd be nice to go, go to a bathroom for not just me in, in a wheelchair with the space I need, but for every passenger. You more comfort that way. And you were injured during a flight. Tell me briefly more about that. Um, in 2019, I was uh, being transferred from my chair to the aisle chair um, by an improperly trained crew. The unfortunate thing is they dropped me and I fractured my tailbone. Um, subsequent to that injury, I developed an infection. I went into the hospital um, and I received surgery. The infection was pretty serious. It was, uh, it was in my spinal cord was close to causing me to, to die, but they took care of me. The hospitals are three months getting over the surgery and the infection. And uh, this is why it's a passion for me to make sure that this is, gets fixed for not just me, but for all passengers with disabilities. And Charles, what can we do to help and how can we get more information to be able to help with this issue? Well, PVA, we, if you go to pva.org slash air travel, we have a petition there for, for you to sign and tell Congress it's time to make this inclusion for all. And also while you're there, there's several resources you can look at and, and see what it's about. Or if somebody you know with a disability has traveled, they've had an issue, they can actually put their story forward there. Um, it's an important issue for me. At one point I was a Marine that could run and do everything within the blink of an eye, I was in a wheelchair. It's not just me that you're fighting for, it's actually you're fighting for you, your parents, your kids, because it could be any one of them within a blink of an eye. Well, Charles Brown, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate you sharing your story with us and encourage everyone to head to Paralyzed Veterans of America online to make sure that you can help change this so that people with disabilities can travel in more comfort. We'll be back with more here on Mount Connections right after this.